Tonight, I'll be discussing the ethical scandal about Kenneth Lay, who is an Enron business executive who is convicted of conspiracy and fraud. This cost roughly 20,000 employees their jobs and many their life savings. Kenneth Lay was appointed chairman and chief executive officer of Enron in 1986. Enron is based out of Houston, Texas, and it is a holding company in the energy industry. They marketed electricity and natural gas, delivered energy and other physical commodities, and provided financial and risk management services to customers around the world. Enron was once ranked the sixth largest energy company in the world. At their peak, they had shares that were worth little over $90 in August 2000 and then dropped to $0.67 cents in January 2002. Under Lay and Skilling, who was the CEO before Lay, they pushed the company into new adventures, water systems, broadband internet, and overseas power plants. They were putting their money in businesses that were not successful, but you couldn't tell because the chief financial advisor, Andrew Fastow, was manipulating the company's public reports to mislead investors. In September and October of 2001, the share prices fell for Enron, so Lay sold large amounts of stock in the company. From 1989 to 2001, he had liquidated more than $300 million in Enron stock, and they ended up filing for bankruptcy in December 2001, which was the biggest bankruptcy filing in the U.S. history at the time. Not only did he cost 20,000 employees their jobs and many their life savings, but he also lost billions of dollars for the investors. In July 2004, Lay was indicted for his role in how everything played out, which was 11 counts of securities fraud, wire fraud, and making false misleading statements. In May 2006, Lay was found guilty on all six counts of conspiracy and fraud. He faced a maximum statutory sentence for these charges of 175 years. Throughout the entire investigation, he insisted that he was a victim and how everything played out as well and not the villain. Bell Larrick, a lawyer who sued to stop document shredding by Enron's accountant, stated, This man was the CEO of the company. He had an obligation to be informed about what was going on in that business every day in every way and he utterly failed to do it. Lay died of a heart attack on July 5, 2006, which was three months before his sentencing. I believe that as a CEO, you have an obligation to oversee your company effectively and make sure compliance is important in how you handle business. This is a perfect example of not incorporating the moral minimum, and then Lay has to suffer from that. Even though this is an older case, we can still look back and see the mistakes of others and learn how to effectively run a company ethically without hurting the ones that work for you.